Come on. Now, you worked on tracks with Will I Am, you also do a number of tracks with Rick Rubin, but the bulk of the album is your work with Tim, with Timbaland. Why was that the, the, what made up the bulk it of the It sounded, it, it just felt right. I felt like what I had done with Tim was push myself to create, um, just to create music outside the box. You know, it was just everybody's ideas got thrown into the pot, stirred around, and voila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's what it became. And you were saying Sexy Back began that way with him just beatboxing. And yeah, that. Sexy that's Back. Well, um, Sexy Back became with him messing around. And he, you know, he gets in the studio and he's got all these modules and he looks like a mad scientist. And he starts messing with beats and, and then I'll, I'll say, I like that one. You know, I think, I think that the sign of a really good producer to me is to know it's like being a coach as well you have to know what people's strengths are you have to you know and in co-producing this album I know Tim's strengths I know I know exactly where his strengths are and I mean they're in the beats in the syncopated beats and that's what I you know something I specifically wanted on this record the next single is going to be my love mm -hmm. T.I. is on that track mm -hmm. um, how'd that come about obviously there's the southern Southern yeah, things. well, it's got a, it's got that southern hop to it. It's kind of like electro southern hip hop beat with a love song on top of it. And we, it was as simple as everything else on the record. We got to the second hook and the second hook finished, and I said, "Ooh, a rapper would sound good on this." And T and Tim goes, "Yeah." So we thought about it for a couple of months, and, and we, you know, it was Tim's idea to get to get Ti. Mm -hmm. And um, he was so freaking white hot at the time. I didn't know if he would say yes, and I'm so thankful he did. So thank you. I owe you one. Who would um, say no to you? It happens. It happens. I <laughs> can't imagine. <laughs> so long as we're being track specific, um, probably the most sort of storytelling song on the album is a track called Losing My Way. Mm. And um, it sounds like a very personal story, and, it sound, and from best I could tell, it's a story about a guy who has his life together but then kind of loses it and that drugs are at the root of that. Um, that song came to me like a gift. We were watching a segment in the room upstairs in Virginia Beach at the studio on a documentary on people struggling with abuse, drug abuse habits. And Tim had worked on that beat, the, I think the night before, and he, and he, it was one of those things where he worked on the, just the ba -dum, dum ba -dum, dum ba -dum, dum And for some reason, I, when, I, when I heard the beat, I was like, man, I was like, this is, this is a groove, but this is serious. Like, the way the music felt to me, I was like, this is serious. And I couldn't figure out what to write on top of that song because I've been writing Sexy Bag and, you know, and, and My Love, you know, mm -hmm. all these songs that were obviously motivated by sex and love. And, and then I watched that documentary and there was just a specific story about somebody that had lost his relationship with his wife and his daughter. And, but on the, on the surface, he didn't look like what you would assume someone with an abuse problem looked like. It struck a, a chord with me and I went, I walked right downstairs and I started, you know, I wrote the hook and then I, and then I went back and started with the verses and just made them very specific to, to a story. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really proud of, of that song. Final thing I'll let you go, what goes around is a song that essentially has to do with an experience that a friend of yours went through, right? Right. And a relationship experience yeah, was, gone wrong. Yeah, no, what goes around was, was a song that, it was the first song I did with Tim and when I first got in there, uh, one of my friends had gone through a little experience with somebody in his life that inspired the song and once I had the general idea of the song, I just pushed it as far as I could in the song and created even more of a scenario out of it. But that, that's, 
but it's it's kind of an example of the whole album. I mean, a lot of the ideas that came up, I just pushed myself, tried to push myself creatively to to come up with the story in my head, and it was more of an experiment in creative writing. You know, try to push this as far as it could go with yeah. songs like "Losing My Way," with the storyline, with with um, with songs like "What Goes Around." You get in a, a general thing that happened, you take that. And you and you draw off of it, and and it inspires a whole another scenario. And we live in a time when people are always gonna, you know, try and analyze you every track and every lyric, and, and, sure. and partly because people like an Usher or a Nick Lachey do these very hard on my sleeve confessional records. Oh, by the records. way, I mean it's not like yeah. I didn't do that on my first right. record. Exactly. Um, but this this record is completely unautobiographical. <laughs> so not a personal record. No, no. It's this, like I said, is just an experiment in creative writing and 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 just you know you're just trying to make hot music. Well, it's cool. You succeeded, man. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thanks. All right.